Denise, is about ironing. I mean, the way you talk about it, sewing and ironing, and you're in the zone, I love and it. you love it. Whereas I, love it. I can't stand it. <laughs> so my mother's an amazing ironer, but even sure she she doesn't enjoy doing it. Right. So we're going to okay. talk a little bit about tools that might be able to help you exactly. iron, um, and and a few tips and tricks. I have some tips, but you first have to start with great tools and the mm -hmm. right tools. So a few things that people don't know about when they're doing some ironing. This is an awesome one. It's called a tailor's hammer, an ironing ham. Okay. And this is used to put under curves. So anywhere oh, in your smart. garment where there's a curve, your bust, your hips, yes. you put your garment over top and when you're ironing, you don't get a crease. That is so very smart. So it's such a great little thing to use. I hear everyone going, oh, oh yeah, get one of these. They're awesome. Okay. Uh, then a pressing cloth. So if you're ironing something very delicate, some fabrics, they actually change color with yes. heat. You don't want to melt your, your fabric or scorch your fabric. Yes. You can take a cotton pressing cloth. You can buy this at the fabric store or you can just use a bit of cotton or linen. Yeah. You put it directly on top so that you have something between your iron and your garment. So Makes this protects sense. It. And then this is this. a sleeve board. So oh. handy when you're doing your sleeves, you can just wrap them around there. That right? is really smart. <laughs> I've actually never seen one of these. I do iron everybody. I do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe you. <laughs> I iron, uh, you know, my husband's shirts once a year. Sometimes. Once a year. <laughs> So okay, that would well, be helpful. for cuffs after too. But yes. first, let's talk about your iron. So this is a very important part of the process. It's such an important part. You have to make sure it has lots of weight because you need to push down. You need that pressure. It has to have a smooth surface. Yeah. It has to have lots of steam vents so that you can get that steam in and change the fibers and change you know, everything. Get that heat going on it. Exactly. And then I have some awesome things to talk about, about this Aliso iron. Okay. Because this has, it's kind of been like redesigned just for the sewer. Nice. Um, you have something called iTouch technology. So I want you to grab that. Gra just grab the handle. Yep. And I don't know if you noticed, it has a little scorch guard. They popped in. Okay. So when you're ironing, let's pretend you're ironing this pressing cloth. You iron, iron, iron. If you forget your iron, you have to walk away for one second. Yes. You take your hand off and just leave it there. Oh. It pops up. That's so, so cool. It comes with its own stand. Exactly. <laughs> so it has these awesome. forge guards. They pop up and they protect your fabric. Oh. So it makes it easy, makes it safe. Oh. Everyone loves smart. it. See? It's such a good, good feature. And it was actually designed by someone. The inventor, his mother, is a sewer. Yeah. So he thought about special features for sewers, exactly like a large large water reservoir, a super long cord. It stays on longer than a regular iron, so you don't have to worry about walking away. Right. But it's these scorch guards. You know, you accidentally knock your iron over. You don't have to worry because this, the That's little stand will That's actually brilliant, and it looks so easy, and you think to yourself, why didn't someone think of this 30 years ago? Yeah, it makes That's it easier. Smart. So let me give you a couple quick tips. Before you get to those, we're actually going to draw for two of these smart irons after yeah. the show today. When you're ironing your pants, you know, down the side of your pants, you sometimes get that little crease on either side. Yes. To prevent that, iron your pants from the inside. That crease is from this seam allowance on the inside. So okay. if you iron your pants from the inside, then you won't get that crease. It. Yeah, so super, turn them inside out. out. Exactly, turn them inside out to iron that. Your inverted pleats or your box Those pleats. Those are tough. When you have pleats like this, you want to make sure you don't want to put creases in it. So just spread out the fabric mm -hmm. and just do it as much as you can. Just keep everything nice and flat. You don't want those creases because without the creases, that's how you get that volume. Oh, I yeah. see. So spread it out. So actually exactly. get rid of the pleats spread it out, and get then do rid it of all those, all those creases. Okay. Yeah. And then for cuffs, um, you want to iron from the inside. Inside. So there's all this extra fabric. You don't want those wrinkles. Iron them from the inside before you flip them to the outside to do a little touch up. If you have a French cuff, mm -hmm. then you press it flat, press it into quarters, and then give a nice hot press, lots of pressure, and then you have a perfect crisp French cuff for when you do your husband's once a year. Oh, that, that, yeah. thank you. Or I'll come over, I'll do them. Oh my gosh, Lock yes, in your basement, Denise, I'll iron all the shirts. It is amazing that you actually get joy out of it. And I, I know, know I'm, I'm not joking. joking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the tediousness of it, but maybe that's what gets you into the zone, I right? I love it. Honestly, I'm coming over, I'm coming over. Yes, Just you are. <laughs> Guys, I want to know who else loves ironing. I love ironing. Yes. What? <laughs> Oh so what are you doing on Saturday? Uh, yeah, yeah, I just need a television. Let's have an ironing I need a party. television. Yes. And so then do you make it a big deal? Do you pour a glass of wine and put on the TV your favorite show? It's getting the better and better, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Carson? No, no, my dry cleaners know me by first name. <laughs> yeah. They just wave at me and I wave at them and I throw it out the car window and we're done. That's yeah. it. It's perfect. Well, uh, what does that say for yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're always wearing the button down shirt. Oh. So yeah. ironing would probably be a good thing for you to get into. Yeah, you know what I shop for? What? Wrinkle free. Uh, yeah. That's true. That works. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us today. We really <laughs>